This is Kirk Sinclair, the Hiking Humanitarian, and I'm speaking with Pastor Andy Mockridge in uh, Grand Pass here, the UCC Church at Grand Pass, and she has uh, some good uh, information here about a unique kind of coffee shop in Washington, D.C. Could, could you fill us in on the details on that? Yes, the, as I recall, um, this is the, was the Church of Our Savior, uh, which was a... Um, a Baptist, maybe non-denominational, but um, liberal Baptist group that um, didn't own a building and met, they were basically what you would call a house church. And one of their missions that they started was they went into um, near the inner city of Washington, D.C., uh, and yet they were close enough to the business district to attract people from both sides. And they set up a coffee shop, and the coffee shop was totally run uh, by volunteer members of the congregation. And the intent of the coffee shop was not to make money selling coffee, but to bring people together from the business sector, as well as those who lived, who were homeless, those who lived in the um, uh, poorer parts of town, uh, to come together in a place where they could have coffee, uh, talk about the news, read a paper together, visit, uh, <clears throat> and uh, just enjoy themselves. And the volunteers, who, the people who made the coffee, and I think they served patri pastries, um, would also sometimes sit down with them and visit with them. Now, this is from my best recollection from a long time ago, but um, the church was founded by... Um, the Cosbys, and I can't remember their first names now, um, but uh, it was a, a congregation that was known for many years as inspiring many people for ways to bring community together and to um, really be the body of Christ to one another and allowing other people to be the body of Christ to them in ways that they didn't know they were doing. Thank you very much for that, Pastor Andy. Mm -hmm.